Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. A couple weeks ago, I asked you guys for modified carries. That could be anything from a modified knife to a modified pen. Doesn't matter. Whatever it is in your carry that you've modified and made your own, I wanted to see that for this episode. So that's what this is all about. So with that said, let's do the damn thing. So I really didn't know what to expect when I asked you guys for modified carries. I knew I wanted to do an episode like this for a long time, but I didn't know what I was gonna get. And I think that's part of the fun of this. Uh, and it was a lot of fun and I'm definitely gonna do more of these. But the, the submissions that I got ranged from just forced patina stuff, things that people, the person that submitted have done themselves to people paying other people to modify their knives and even like just really cool things like replays. Basically what I'm saying is uh, we got stuff from all ends of the spectrum for this, this episode and I think that's a lot of fun. So first up, the very first submission comes from Lassie or boulder.edc over on Instagram. And uh, I think this one's really cool for one very, very big reason, uh, but we'll get to that. First one of the photo in the bottom left is the Casio G-Shock. That's a model number GW-B5600. That's actually been modified with a new bezel and bracelet from AliExpress. There's also an Open L number eight carbon that has been modified, a Victorinox Swiss Army Knife Compact that's also been modified with some daily custom shops brass scales and a zero feud Brickman bead also in brass. And then finally, the Civivi Baby Banter that you see in the far right. That has actually been customized by Lassie here with their own custom handmade brass scales. He says, starting from the left, there's my God tier Casio G-Shock with a weathered finished steel bezel and bracelet. This thing can take a beating and anything you throw at it and it only gets better looking over time. It's my beater and my EDC watch. Next is my Open L number eight Carbone, not in its original outfit though. Before, I didn't understand what people see in Open L's, but I do now. And even though Open L is a very good entry level knife as it is, it just looks so boring. So I did what I had to do and modified the blade and reshaped and burned the handle to make it uh, hit in the right spots. It's now a trapanel and holy shit balls, it is sharp. The Swiss Army Knife Compact is one thing I do not go anywhere without and since I am a total addict for brass, I updated it with the Daily Custom Shops brass scales and the ZF brass Brickman bead. Last but not least is my pride and joy, the Civivi Badass Brass Baby Banter. I fell in love with the Bin Blue Baby Banter immediately when I held it the first time in my hand many moons ago, but it was still missing that extra bling that it deserves. I spent 10 painstaking hours in my workshop without any correct milling tools or anything and came out with these. I love them and out of all of my knives, this is now my favorite and to my knowledge, the first brass scaled ever made. Thanks for continuing the EDC Weekly's Taylor and thank you for your awesome channel. Without it, my work days would be extremely blank and boring. Well, I'm glad I can help there, but this is really cool. There's nothing in this photo that's not custom to you, which I think is really, really nice. Uh, and that baby banter, those scales turned out great for your first time just making some scales in your shop without any correct tools. Uh, I think you nailed it and I love the hammered brass look that looks really cool. It's, maybe it's not hammered. It kind of looks almost rock scaly. I don't know. Regardless, I think those look fantastic and uh, I'm sure there are some imperfections and they're not perfect, but they look great. Anyway, thank you for sharing. This is a very, very cool setup and uh, you now have a second entry into the giveaway. The next submission comes from Frankie Adams or Frankie underscore Emidio underscore Adams over on Instagram. Uh, this kind of speaks for itself. It's really, really nice. So if you're into forced patina, which I think forced patina looks really cool, but this is what he says are his shipwreck patina EDC items. So in the center of the photo is a Benchmade bug out with flitanium copper scales. He also has a CRKT Pilar, also with copper scales, and then an Olight Baton 3 Eternal, also in copper. He says, I made these with ammonia and sea salt to force patina onto them. It took about 48 hours to let it oxidize, and then a coat of clear coat to preserve the patina. I'm thinking about making a company to customize knives in the future. I love your videos. They are what got me into EDC in general. This is really, really nice. The force patina stuff, not everybody loves it. Uh, I get that. Um, I love it personally. I love this shipwreck theme. I've never done it myself and I don't carry anything copper or really much brass anymore. I would love more brass gear, but man, it's just so heavy. And now I'm just, I don't know, I'm a titanium whore, but this, this looks really good. I think you knocked this out of the park and it all goes together so well. 
And I'm gonna be completely frank. These special edition Baton 3s that they did with all these weird graphics in them, in titanium and just raw brass and copper, they look kind of cheesy to me. I don't like the, the engravings that they've done. This is the only way I've seen one of those with that kind of design on it, and it doesn't look cheesy. When you got that shipwreck pattern, that goes really well with this, this overall finish. Anyway, this stuff is really, really cool. Thank you for sharing, and you now have a second entry into the giveaway. Next up, we have a submission from Leo or uh, Gearad <laughs> over on Instagram. I think that's what it is, Gearad, maybe? Anyway, a uh, lot of stuff here to unpack, so we're just gonna get right into it. First, actually, there is a tray that he said was a gift from his wife. Then in the left of the tray is a Traveler brass pencil from his friend, Penis Pine Leather. That's basically a Midori Traveler pencil and brass. There's also a Victornix Rambler modded by Tools A Lot over on Instagram. A Steinhardt Marine Officer is the watch there that you see with the red leather strap. That leather strap is from Oak City Leather Supply. There's a wooden nuck and bead modded by himself from his wife's childhood house window frame. That's cool. There is an Open L number 12 cleaver mod up at the top and then a Spade Goods cassette wallet, a Svartmaster brass lighter, which is really, really cool. And then finally in the bottom is another Oppenol number 12 that is modded into a fixed blade. Again, really, really cool. Leo says, I could probably sell a few knives, but I'm not sure which ones. You're in the same boat as many of us. Uh, I need a good brass bolt action pin. Lots of really good options. I would say tactile turn, but they only do bronze. So. Big Idea Design now has a brass pin. Uh, Urban Survival Gear. I think he still operates in brass, but he may have moved over to bronze. You have to double check me on that. Either way, those two are gonna be the best that I can think of in brass. Um, but there's also Refine. If you want something a little more affordable, there's the Refine pins, the EP1. It now comes in brass, so lots of options, uh, and they all do about the same exact thing. He also says, big fan of your show. The lighter I use for barbecue exclusively, designed them with two symbols, an anchor and helm wheel that represent my two little girls. But these Oppenels are why I chose this photo. So an open on number 12 is really large, like a very, very large. I think the overall length is 12 inches, I believe. But the 12 is a very, very large knife. And it's really cool to see this one modified into a cleaver blade. That's just, I've not seen that before. And now it looks like it's about a five inch overall knife-ish. And then the fixed blade at the bottom, it honestly has a very similar profile to the Pena fixed blade that I have. And it's about the same length. It just has like a shorter handle. Uh, that's really cool. Honestly, I'm, I'm impressed with both of these. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. And that lighter, so I'm not really into steampunk gear at all, but this guy makes some really, really cool custom lighters. The Svart, S-V-A-R-T Master over on Instagram. Got some really cool stuff. Anyway, lots of cool modded stuff here, and uh, thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry into the giveaway. Before you go any further, I want to thank our sponsors for this video, Big Idea Design. Big Idea Design specializes in making really compact and useful titanium pocket tools, like one of my favorite pieces of EDC gear period, the TPT Slide, a pocket-friendly titanium utility knife. They also make really handy pocket screwdrivers that store bits in the handle and have pocket clips, like the everyday screwdriver and bit bar inline. Big Idea Design also specializes in making highly adaptable everyday pins that work with dozens of different refills, like the Pocket Pro, TI Click EDC, and the newest, the Bolt Action, which is now available for purchase on their site. But my favorite pins from Big Idea Design are their line of much smaller pins like the Mini Pin, Mini Click, and the new Mini Bolt Action, which trade broad refill compatibility for extreme portability. To learn more about what Big Idea Design has to offer, click the link in the description down below and use coupon code CARRYON at checkout for 10% off your purchase and to help support the show. And once again, I want to thank Big Idea Design for sponsoring this video. The next mission comes from Jala Ketu, I guess is how it's pronounced. Uh, and the reason we chose this very clearly is the reblade on the knife. But Let's talk about some other stuff and then we'll come back to the knife. The wallet that you see in the center of the photo here is the Open Sea Leather Top Sider in white. On top of that is a Lumintop GT Nano for the flashlight with a little key dangler on it. And then the pin in the back is the Lamy Safari pin. And then finally, to the left of the photo is the knife, a Benchmade 940 that has been rebladed with kind of like a harpoon Warm cliff blade from Transparent Knives, and then the handles have been seracoded by River's Edge Cutlery. Jala Ketu Hala Ketu says, uh, more cool items in white is what he's looking for. 
And what else should I know about? Um, well, one, I'm not very well versed in white gear because it gets so dirty so easily. And I don't, I don't think I have any white gear at all. So if you guys in the comments have suggestions for more cool white gear or something that they should know about, uh, let us know. But he says, Cerakote is a game changer, very durable, try it out. I do have some Cerakoted gear, uh, but nothing in white. The 940, so I'm gonna do a video later, probably this month, I believe, on some of the regrets I have in terms of EDC gear that I've let go or anything in relation to the channel, things that I regret. And, a, and spoiler, one of those is letting go of a, a Benchmade 940 variant that I had. Uh, I had a Benchmade 943, I think it was, but it was a drop point 940, basically. I bought it from, I wanna say Hitch and Timber, and I should have never, ever, ever, ever sold it. And I did, and I'm really sad about it. Just I'm just not a fan of the reverse Tonto 940 for some reason, uh, but this looks really, really sick. Anyway, thank you for sharing. You don't have a second entry into the giveaway. The next submission comes from Harley or H underscore R underscore L underscore Y over on Instagram. Um, you can tell already what it was about this one that I picked, but first up in this photo, we have Pocket Jewelry Custom Mini Crooked River done by Nathan Knives on Instagram. That's Nathan with a K. I, Okay, there's also a Chris Reeve in Cosi Tonto with a thumb hole mod, an Olight Baton Pro that had a three week vacation in a cattle pasture, a Hobby Lobby bandana, and then a Walmart custom exhaust tip on my Duramax. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, when I was looking at this one in the, the Google Drive, when I was going through the submissions, the first thing I thought is it looks like, and I, Maybe it actually is. It looks like a big old pot that you'd cook something in. Is that what you did? Did you literally buy a pot and weld it to your tailpipe? If so, that is <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> anyway, he's looking to trade out his Nkosi for a small fixed blade around three inches with a leather clip sheath. Okay, can't help you there unless you're, you know, somebody in the comments or somewhere wants to trade you. The Nkosi is my all time favorite user and the dark color paired with the custom Mini Crooked River compliments well, I think. So if you want, if it's your favorite user, then why are you getting rid of it? Um, I don't use the mini often, but I do like to carry it because it was my first fully customized knife with handmade brass bolsters, purple burl whip with uh, brass spec scales and brass backspacer. The flashlight meets all my needs when needing a light source and the exhaust tip is just because I think it's funny and it usually brings a smile to people's faces when they notice it. I swear to God, that's what you did. You took a freaking pot and just welded it to your tailpipe. That's hilarious. But no, this Crooked River, uh, not everybody loves the, the Crooked River, mini Crooked River. I love how they look personally and this one looks really cool. I, I've seen them with brass bolsters, but that, that purple burl wood with brass specks, that's crazy. That thing looks nice. It's not something I would personally carry, but I can appreciate that knife a ton, and I do. So thank you for sharing. This is a really, really cool carry, and you don't have a second entry into the giveaway. The next mission comes from Eric Imch, E-M-C-H. I know that he's been featured here before because I remember screwing up on that name, but you can find him on Instagram at given underscore Pacific Northwest or PNW. In the bottom right of the photo is a Hitchin Timber Oswald, and then above that is a Fossil Smartwatch. But what we're most interested in here is the Benchmade Mini Osborne, or 945, I think is the, the number, with RSD titanium scales. And then above that is a Victorinox Cadet that has been modified with a Spidernox mod, and he also removed the nail file. And then finally underneath everything is an MCMD Bug Hank. Eric says he's looking for a TSA approved multi-tool and he says it's because he works at an airport. There is a knifeless Gerber multi-tool. Multiplier 600 bladeless from Gerber Gear. 60 bucks, travel friendly tool. So that's what you need is a Gerber Multiplier 600 bladeless, if you can find one, because apparently they're out of stock. He also says, the Hitch and Timber wallet was the first minimalist wallet I have ever owned, and I've been loving it for years now. The smartwatch is great to get notifications when my phone isn't handy, but I still prefer a normal analog watch. Here, here. The Mini Osborne is my perfect knife for me. The 940 was a little too big, and the Mini Bugout was just too delicate, but the 945 is everything I need. It's small and rugged. With the RSD scales on it, it feels tougher. This little beast can take on the world with me. Also, obviously, now for my most custom piece and the one with the best story, the Spider Knox. I originally bought this knife two years ago from someone who put the Dragon 5 blade in it and I absolutely loved it. Then I actually stonewashed all the tools myself when I was learning how to do some simple mods. But for some reason, I decided to sell it and boy, was that a bad choice. I regretted it every day. 
you go, regrets. Um, so I reached out to the person I sold it to who sold it to someone else who also sold it to a third person. I tracked him down and bought it back after I pleaded with him. Now it's a forever piece in my collection and in my pocket. <laughs> That's a really cool story. I have a similar story with, uh, hang on this knife. I won't go into too much detail because this, this also kind of goes in line with the, the video I was talking about, but uh, this knife right here, a Microtech Cypher Katana. I traded a Sabenza 21, plain Jane, small for this, sent it away, traded back for this, traded it away again, and now I have it again. I keep getting this knife back because I, I never carry it, never carry this knife. It is so hard to, to actuate. Like you hand this to people, most people have to use two thumbs to actuate it and then to get it in, they usually just hand it back to me. Um, this thing is a tank and I love how it looks. I just never ever carry it, but this is, this is the same thing, right? I got rid of it several times, it's back here, and now it's a forever piece. I will always have the Cypher Katana. Uh, one, because it's cool, they're not in production anymore. This one isn't, and uh, any anyway, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was kind of funny. I, I love the Spider Knox, for sure, but that 945, uh, again, I've never been a huge fan of the Reverse Tonto for some reason. I just, it just doesn't do anything for me on the, the 940 and 945, but, it looks so good. Those scales look so good on that knife. That's how that knife should come. I don't really like the contoured green for some reason. I don't know. Uh, and going back to the one that I traded away or sold away, it was black. It was a black handled drop point. Oh, God, I never should have sold it. Damn it. Thank you for sharing and making me relive this again. Uh, you now have a second entry into the giveaway. All right, the last submission this week is only two items in it, uh, but it's a very, very cool custom piece. And it comes from Sid Scotchman or Sid underscore bones over on Instagram. And what you see here, obviously the, the thing that sticks out is the Benchmade bug out. It sticks out from the tree. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Benchmade bug out uh, that has been heavily customized. It's got flitanium titanium scales that have been lasered with like a Kraken, I believe it is. There's also a Glow Rhino Tritium Thumb Stud and the Glow Rhino Tritium Axis Lock Replacement. And then finally on top is the Veriforma Commodore Coin. That combination on that bug out looks so good. It looks so good. Uh, and those Tritium Thumb Studs and Axis Locks are really cool. I have a, a Tritium Thumb Stud on my bug out. It's so cool. I wish people used Tritium in more things. Uh, I just do. I wish everything had tritium on it. Uh, he says, any suggestions for further mods for this knife? Pocket clip suggestions. I do prefer deep pocket, but honestly, I'm open to any ideas. Um, you could put a Lynch Northwest deep carry clip on it if you really wanted to. Uh, just saying. You could anodize those scales. Those scales would look so sick with like a bronze anno. Just saying. I, I bronze anno everything. Um, and then, I don't know, you could ask that it's the blade if you wanted to take away that clean look of the, the stonewashed blade. Just saying, there's a lot that can be done still. Uh, he also says the Benchmade bug out is modded with custom titanium flitanium scales, which feature laser etching of a Kraken taking down a pirate ship made by DNA lasering. Also modded further with Glow Rhino, Tritium Thun Stud, and Tritium Axis Lock. The knife has been my daily rotation for a while and is one of the more popular knives that catches some eyes when I post it on Instagram. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, this thing jumps out. That lasering looks really, really neat. That would look really sick on brass. That Kraken taking down the pirate ship in brass with an acid etched blade. Damn, that could be really cool. Anyway. Thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry into the giveaway. Thank you all for sharing. That's all I got for you today. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. What are we gonna do next time? Heavy patina. Just thinking about that. Heavy patina, let's do a heavy patina EDC weekly next. Don't know what it'll be, probably next month because this month's booked out. But uh, heavy patina, go submit your carry with heavy patina at edcw.co. And uh, yeah, that'll be a fun one. It's been a while since I've seen a lot of gnarly patina. I want to see some gnarly leather wallets and brass and copper gear, bronze. Bronze patinas really well. I want to see it all. And even just beat up like snail trailed titanium. Everything you saw in this video will be linked down below. Most of those are going to be affiliate links. It just helps support what I'm doing here. It keeps the light on and keeps us coming back for more. So thank you guys for everything you've done, submitting, keeping the show alive, everything uh, and, and if you want to support, you can hit those links, but you can also go to patreon.com forward slash best uh, Thank you once again. And until next time, carry on.
Mm-hmm.